it's me editing. Um, I just wanted to say that I'm going to change my posting date to Sunday. It was Tuesday, but it was too hard, so it's going to be Sunday now. But always remember, just in case I change it and I forget just to tell you, click the bell on and then you can know, because I might change it again if it doesn't work out, but yeah. It's going to be Sunday. Bye, enjoy the video. Hey everyone, it's me, Rachel, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a braces 101 video, everything you need to know about braces. Yes, I have braces. I've had them since... December of last year? Two years ago. Like, not the December that just passed, like the December before, December 7th is when I got them. I'll insert a picture when I got them. I looked really weird. I'll insert a picture before I had braces and the day I got them. braces right now. I have aqua on. It's a really bright aqua color. I kind of like it. And yes, I'm still in my dad's room because my room doesn't have good lighting at all. It's like really bad and I don't know where else to film. So I just film here because I don't even know. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, the first thing is when you get them. So when you get them, like for me, it's obviously different for everyone, but when I got them, it didn't really hurt when they were putting it on. Um, I feel like the part that hurts the most is when they put the colors on. I don't know why, because they pull your teeth and then they twist the color and stuff. I have a power chain, which means like they're all connected. I'll insert the picture of a power chain and a regular. Um, you see they're all connected. Um, regular singles are just like one, two, so they could get different colors, but I have to stay with one. A tip for when you wanna go, gonna go get your braces on is wear Vaseline because your mouth is gonna be open for so long and it, your lips are gonna get so chapped, so like wear Vaseline. It, it's a lifesaver, trust me. Also when you go get take like Advil or Tylenol or something to help the pain before you even go in maybe because it will kick in later um for me the first week hurt the most um you have to eat soft foods I mean you could go eat go eat some hard foods but it hurts so bad and I won't recommend it so some foods that you could eat are like are like some soup ice cream mashed potatoes Anything that's soft, they don't have to chew, applesauce, you know, anything like that, because your teeth will be so sore, and trust me, I felt like I, I couldn't, I wasn't going to survive, but I did, and now, I don't, I don't even feel them most of the time. When I'm talking, I do, because they rub against your mouth, but I don't really feel them, like when I'm just like this. So foods to avoid, just like in general, not really on the first day, just like in general, are like popcorn because um, when you chew on it, it could like, I don't know what popcorn, but you're not supposed to eat it. Your orthodontist will give you foods that you're not supposed to eat. Um, yeah. Gum because it could get stuck or you could be chewing it and take it off. Um, the best gum is sugar free. How do you know it's sugar free is when you take it and it breaks so like trident i'm pretty sure it is and then there's this company called i'm not sure what it's called but i'll put a picture of the gum it's sugar free hard and sticky foods or just like taffy and candy like that apples because you don't want to bite into them if you want to have an apple you just cut it up and apples with peanut butter are so good i don't know corn because also you don't want to break your brackets. Now I'm just going to give you a bunch of tips for anything because I just like, I'm just going to say a bunch of tips. One is use an Oral-B skin brush. So I don't know if that's for every orthodontist but my orthodontist gave me an Oral-B. Um, Oral-Bs are really good because they clean a bit better than normal toothbrushes. Um, so this is mine, it's an Oral-B. 
I use it a lot. Um, you just go around. But I really recommend getting one of these because it helps your cleaning a lot better. Um, mine's pretty dirty, but this is mine. So some techniques for brushing is go over your bracket, go on the gum line, and do the same for the bottom. And then do your flats and just like go all the way around. That's what I do every single day. But yeah, Oral-B helps brushing a lot better, so go get yourself one of these. Next thing is don't use whitening toothpaste because if you use it, then the whitening will go on over here and where, uh, where your brackets are in. And then when you take your braces off, those spots are gonna be white and then your places where your brackets are are gonna be like brown squares. So don't use whitening toothpaste. I used Colgate, just like the regular Colgate, no whitening, just regular. And hopefully I don't have brown squares under my braces. I'm really scared about that, but yeah. Next thing is if you're drinking pop, which you're not really supposed to because the sugar goes under your bracket and then it like makes it brown and you can't clean under there, so I recommend getting a straw. Metal straws only because you have to save the turtles, okay? And you just like drink it, so, and don't swish it around your mouth because then it will go under. Just like try to drink it right away. I don't know how to explain it, but that's what I do. Also, when you first get your braces on, you can get water, swish it around your mouth, and it sort of numbs the pain a little bit because the water's cold and it cold. Okay. Hi. Okay. Next hack is a water pick. Basically, when you have braces, you're supposed to floss. Like, you're always supposed to floss, but um, it's hard to floss because you can't use a regular one and just go like that. You have to use a string, and I'll show you how. Okay, so how you're supposed to floss is you have to go under <laughs> Shoot, okay. Go underneath. Oh my god, it's so hard. So you put it under, oh, finally, and then... Okay, and then you have to... Go through, take it out, and then uh, all the way through. And you have to do it with your whole mouth, so obviously it's really hard. That one tooth took me like seven minutes. Oh my god. So that would take a long time to go through all your, all your teeth. So water pick can help you out. So basically this is like an alternative for flossing. You basically, this is my water pick water flosser. And how it works is you put water in here. So first you have to charge it up. And you put water in here. Oh, shoot. So you put water in there. And then once you've filled it up, you're supposed to press this big button. And then water comes out. And this is how you stop it with this button. And you're supposed to go on your gum line and it helps you floss. You're also supposed to floss once in a while, but you don't have to floss every day. Instead, you just use this, and it's way easier because you just go like that. And it's also fun. I don't know. It feels like a water gun. You go. Oh, there's there's water in there. Okay, so water pick, water flosser is good. Next is using wax. When you have braces, wax will be your best friend. Um, orthodontists will probably give you some wax. If they don't, then you can get it from any like Shoppers, Drug Mart, or like Target, or something like that. 
And what you're supposed to do is, I find it really hard to put on, but, okay. These are my teeth. So, here's the wax. Of course you can't see, of course. Okay, that's what it looks like. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to rip off a little piece. And wherever your braces are rubbing on, because it will rub against your gum and your gum will get really irritated, you're gonna pick off a piece and put it on. So you have to make sure your mouth is dry so it won't stick. Oh, there we go. And it feels really nice because it rubs against the wax, not your mouth. So if you could see it there, I put it right there. And it really helps. Wax is great because when your braces are really hurting and rubbing against your gum and making your gum really red and sore and hurt, you just put some on and then it doesn't rub anymore. Okay, now rubber bands. If you see right now, I have na 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 these rubber bands. The orthodontist sometime in your treatment is probably going to give you rubber bands because you might have an overbite or an underbite or they just want to fix up your jawline. My rubber bands uh, are in the size tortoise, heavy, so they'll give you different sizes depending on what you need. And they look like this. Mine are really thick and small. So it looks like that. And they'll tell you how to wear them, but make sure you're always wearing them. I know they hurt, but sometime you'll get used to them. Like if you always take them out and not wearing them, then obviously they'll hurt and every time you put them in, they'll hurt. But just try to wear them as much as you can because then it will speed up your process and make you get your braces off sooner. So. Okay, also, when you have elastics, there could be these packs, right? I recommend asking for a lot of them and putting them everywhere so you don't forget. Or, for example, when you're in bed and they're in your washroom but you don't want to get up but you want to put them on so you can speed up the process. So you just put one on your nightstand, you put one in your bathroom, you put one in your backpack, you put one downstairs, you put one, you, put, you grab a lot of these and you put them everywhere so it helps you. Remember to put them in. Next, these pig things, these will be your best friend. Honestly, <clears throat> they help out so much. So you could get them at Shoppers, Target, again. And they're so amazing. You get like eight of them in a pack. And you can put one in your bag, in your bathroom, in your pocket, in wherever. Because when you have food stuck, it's really hard to get out. So you just grab one of these and push the food up. There's different sizes. This one's a bit more fluffy. There's like smaller ones. And I love these so much because it's really hard to get food out of your braces. And you can be embarrassed. Maybe you're eating some broccoli and you have some stuff. You just go. And then you rinse your mouth. It's perfect. I love these. They're called gum. And they look like that. They're amazing. Also, when you're about to get your braces on, I would recommend like eating and stocking yourself up because you'll be hungry and like for the first few hours you're going to be really hungry and you won't want to eat anything, not even soft foods because it might just hurt. So eat before. The thing about is about an expander. The water pick can help an expander. If you don't know what an expander looks like, eat food goes up there and it's really annoying. I used to have one and they suck. So whenever you eat, food goes up there and it's really annoying. You have to push it out with your tongue, but this could also help because you just go and a food shoots out. It sounds pretty gross, and it is, but yeah. So, all these things can help you with braces. Um, if you have any more questions about braces, I'll do another Q&A answering braces questions because questions you ask me so ask me a bunch ask me like questions about some di different things and I'll do a Q&A on that so yeah hope you enjoyed
Also, my favorite colors to get are dark colors because they make your teeth look whiter, but I really like aqua right now, and I also really love light blue. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!